If you log into the panel, on the first page you will see the dashboard with quick statistics. The dashboard section shows the summary of top-level metrics you can check on daily basis. Depending on the time frame you select, the metrics will be changing. You can change the date range from here. All metrics have their fluctuation graphs below and percentage showing the increase or decrease. You can customize the view of the dashboard by adding and deleting the statistics. Just to name a few of them, you can see total messages that your bot and users generate on the bot. It includes both messages by user and bot in two-way communication, total messages sent and received by the bot, Total conversations metrics shows all the conversation which are logged when the user stops responding to bot. After two minutes of time, the session finishes and the conversation is logged. If the user writes five consequent messages and the bot answers with one response, this count as one conversation. Average session length metric shows average session du duration. Bot analytics sums the duration of each session and divides that sum by the total number of sessions. This metric is important to track the engagement activities. Then you see the average conversation steps per user. The conversation step is a single back and forth message exchange between a user and a bot. It means that in case the bot answers with one message after the user writes a message, these two messages combined are, me are measured as one conversation step. We calculate these steps to identify if the users uh, are still interested in the conversation and it shows the real engagement of your users. Then you can see average conversation per user. Uh, when total conversations are divided by total users, average conversation per user occurs as a metric. This metric is highly important to track the engagement activities. Um, average conversation steps per user means that total conversation steps are divided by total users, and this is highly important to track the engagement rate. Below the quick statistic, uh, you can see the most common phrases, which are the keywords that the bot processes. It gives the percentages of the total keyword density so that you can compare with keywords, um, which keywords are popular on the bot and create campaigns to understand the users. Then you see the most active hours, uh, which help you find the best time to re-engage with your users, to send a daily, weekly and regular notifications to the users. It is crucial to track most active hours. It reveals what time the users are talking with the bot. Thanks to the metric, uh, you are able to find the best re-engagement times. Um, and talking about customization of the dashboard, here you can add the custom statistics. So adding custom statistics allows you to adjust your dashboard as how you would like to see it. Some metrics can be important for marketers while others are important for developers. We let you design your dashboard, so just click here to see what other metrics are available and feel free to customize it as you would like to.